what's in the water of an eastern Colorado community leading to thousands of health violations for that town. And the fix for the problem will cost millions. We're talking about the water out in Burlington, which sits along I-70 just a few miles west of the Kansas border. 7 News investigator Teresa Marchetta was first to expose the problems and is here to show you what city officials are doing about it. Teresa? Yeah, you know, that was back in November of last year. We were out there, went to Burlington to investigate after we saw signs posted all around town warning the water was contaminated with high levels of nitrate. Apparently, those signs were not enough, and now the state's slapping the city with a million dollar penalty. We have it. We're going forward and taking care of it. That's what Burlington's then city administrator, Sammy Ragsdale, told me last fall. But the state health department says Burlington didn't take care of the nitrate problem and issued the second citation to the city in the past two years. Do you drink the water? Does yes. everyone you know drink it? Yes, I drink it. Cook with it. Right. Yeah. Nitrate is found in fertilizer, manure, and compost. When we went to Burlington to investigate the high levels, we saw warnings posted. Pregnant women, women who are nursing, and babies are at risk since anything over 10 milligrams per liter can cause what's known as blue baby syndrome, impacting the delivery of oxygen through a baby's blood, potentially causing brain damage or death. They see the confirmation uh, test. If anything over, then they send us out a violation notice. But the state says they weren't notified, and neither was the public from 2009 to 2014. At 15 6, that's over. You can only be at 10. 10 is the limit. 10 is the limit. Yeah. Well, 6, we're over on 6. The majority of the 2,109 violations the state found involve a failure to notify the public and failure to complete follow up sampling, something they told us they were doing last fall. And Burlington spent $100,000 on testing in 2014 and purchased two wells to blend in with the existing wells as a temporary fix. I just spoke with the interim city administrator, Steve, Stephen Robbie, and he says it'll cost the city $4.5 million for that short term fix alone. He also says the city plans to meet with the Water Quality Board because they simply don't have the funds to pay that nearly $1 million fine. I'm 7 News investigator Teresa Marsha.